This is nothing but death. I mean, medically speaking, as a medical doctor, this is nothing but death. And death to the next level. Emmanuel is here. They just showed him. See him standing right there. This is Youth Things Ministry in Kubwa Phase 4, Abuja. Praise the Lord on Saturday, the 17th of February, 2024. While in church for a workforce meeting, we were informed that one of the members of our teenage church was very sick. He couldn't sit, stand, walk, or eat. And he was completely mobile. I'm sure phase four church is connected. Maybe you can show them while this testimony is on. The hospitals had rejected him. We visited his house on Sunday, the 18th of February, 2024. What we saw was literally a corpse. Totally immobile. With an offensive smell of rotting flesh. That you couldn't stand. Suddenly. God prompted us to sing one of the songs received by God's servant. I shall not fear. I shall not doubt. Because if God can raise the dead. He can heal the living. Everybody began, began singing. And God took over as we began praying. Decreeing and declaring. As a senior pastor would. In the course of the ministration. God's presence overwhelmed the room. Where he was laid. And we went ahead to lead him to Christ afresh as led. Thereafter. Among other things, I said to the young lad, you shall fulfill your days. After the ministration, we resolved to present his case before God at the commanded day midnight prayer altar daily. During the commanded day midnight prayer of that same Sunday, 18th slash 19th February 2024, his case was mentioned. That is a crocodile skinned person being healed. And several other declarations that related to Emmanuel's case. We are continually, continuously mentioned by God through his servant, Dr. Pastor Paul and Angel, which we continue believing and receiving for him. According to Emmanuel's mother, this affliction started on the 15th of January, 2024. They were told that he had measles, malaria, and typhoid at the general hospital. Both medical and tradomedical measures couldn't help his situation. A few days after the traditional treatment commenced, his flesh began to decay. He was swollen, burnt looking, smelly, and his skin was falling off and cracking to the point that the mother could literally see his bones. The boy became completely incapacitated, waiting for the day of death, which was the exact condition we met him. Until that fateful Sunday when we visited him, we were later told that the same Sunday, 18th of February, after the prayers in the evening, the boy said he saw a personality in white ministering to him. He shouted that he just gained some strength in his body and began to exercise his arms. From there, he requested for food for the first time in days. Two days later, with the aid of his mother, he started walking and also praying for God to complete his healing. Allah, Allah, Allah. We provided them with communion bless from the altar to be administering to him daily. Hallelujah. On Sunday, the 25th of February, 2024, one week after our first visit, we went on a follow-up visit, people of God. When we knocked at the door, it was Emmanuel that responded. For all, that was a huge miracle. Hey, we have seen the transformative and reformative work of God on Emmanuel's life. This is an unbelievable, incredible, shocking, strange and frightening act of God. The same boy that was just left for death is now on his feet. God bless you, son, Ma, for answering the call of God. For the deliverance and the salvation of our generation. God bless the commanded them in our prayer crew and everyone praying their own. Amen. To God alone be all the glory, praise the Lord, declaration and pictures. People, what is this? The cracking of the skin, eyes gummed together. This guy was literally gone. This guy was literally gone. Then the crocodiles killed him. One week of later, see what is form of the skin infection where your body is peeling, you sleep, and you wake up in the morning healed and whole in the name of Jesus. I like you, I like us to see those pictures again. Let's hear the declaration.
and then to the next level showed him see him standing right there this is nothing but death well, come forward come forward I mean, medically speaking as a medical church. doctor this is nothing but leader death. and mothers are you just sitting Emmanuel is here he said just... before the situation there was no encounter necessarily that he started basically like um, measles and they started treating and then he graduated to treating malaria and typhoid and the whole thing escalated and degenerated to, degenerated to what we saw but while he was in that state that he saw a masquerade that they were being chased and then they tied the masquerade with bones skeletons all around the masquerade and while they were dealing with that masquerade he jumped up and he, he had a second one after that where this one was chicken now that was killed and put in the midst of bones against skeletons oh god yes sir and after that one he had one more where they were choking him physically he was feeling a hand choking him like the spirit of death was upon him he screamed jesus with the little strength he had and that was how that hand left and then he got up so death was where he, yes, he actually came out of the dead yes sir. congratulations emmanuel uh, we'll give you get you a suit and shoe yes sir. and tie and everything yes sir be back on sunday congratulations i'm happy what do you want to study man what, what class are you in now this is one what do you want to study doctor doctor so that i can be like you so emmanuel congratulations you will study doctor then i will pay your school fees hey! so I'll So, so you will study the doctor and you will go all the way, become medical doctor. If you want, you can become even a consultant surgeon. Anything you want to become in that line, me and you, we are together in it. So, mother is crying. I am thinking of, I'm thinking of Dr. Nancy, right? I'm just thinking of Dr. Nancy, so. If he's not careful, he may do this school in America. If, if he's not careful. Pray! Pray the Spirit! Pray, pray, 